Hello my frilly shoppers and welcome back. This is Gina and this is my shopping life. I hope you're having a great weekend so far because we are back shopping at Trader Joe's, getting ready for the Mother's Day weekend. And of course, I always like to check out the flowers and the plants. We're gonna start with the dried floral bouquet for $15. That's an original one. I don't ever see dried floral bouquets like that. And of course for $5, they brought out more of the wood flowers. The lavender topiary is so pretty, $23. That's actually a pretty good price for those because I know at some places those could get really expensive. We have some really beautiful flowers and plants, $5 for the moms. I like the price point, honestly. I know I tend to repeat myself when it comes to the flowers and plants here at Trader Joe's, but they really do have some great pricing. I mean, the succulent garden for $13, that is such an original piece. That is a little piece of art right there. And of course, their foliage, their plants are always so pretty. Fun little pots that they come in. Of course, my favorite, another favorite, I love the lavender, but the hydrangeas, I love that I've seen so many purple ones this year. That just really just makes my heart smile. And the lilies, we have some beautiful lilies over here. So we're gonna go inside and see what else we could find. I am thinking about the lavender though. Those are just really nice. Now I did pick out my roses. This little area is packed. Of course, it being Mother's Day weekend, Everyone is here to pick out some flowers, but let's check out some of the food. The ricotta lemon zest raviolis. How good does that sound? $3.99. Honestly, Trader Joe's has such a great selection of raviolis. And I honestly don't add any sauce. I just add a little butter and Parmesan cheese and it is good. Looks like the peaches have returned. These are really tiny. I don't think I've ever seen peaches this small. Those were $6.99. They looked a little green, but if you had those, let me know in the comments below. The Honey Pearl Grapes for $7.99. I definitely want to try these out. My husband loves grapes and he likes honey. So grapes and honey, definitely got to try those. The Sprinkles for $1.99. We saw these last week. We just did not see the price. That's a good price because there is a lot in there. The Iceberg Lettuce for $1.50. I'm going to grab one of these. I always like to reach in the back. So last weekend was my husband's birthday. We went out to eat. I got a wedge salad and I can't stop thinking about it. So of course I want to recreate it at home. The Sparkly Guava Juice. This is new for $3.99. You're getting four cans. That is such a good price. And they still have the Belgian Truffles. Those are good, especially for only $3.99. The boxes are so cute. The organic strawberries for $8.50. These smell so good. And I always want to say thank you so much again for coming along to Trader Joe's with me today. I'm always so grateful for all of your support. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It's a small gesture, but it helps out my channel so much. I'm going to pick up some heirloom cherry tomatoes. Those were on my wedge salad and really good blue cheese and also red onion. So I cannot wait to recreate it. The herbs, the herbs smell so good. I can really smell the mint. I'm actually gonna grab another one. Those are only $2.50. And I think next week I'm gonna grab some rosemary as well. Carne asada, I like this one. It's my quick go-to. All you have to do seriously is slice it up Heated up, it's $18.35, but there is a lot in there. And the artichokes, those are nice, but these are so pretty for $2.99, the purple artichokes. Look how gorgeous those are. They almost don't look real. So pretty. And of course, if you're wanting corn on the cob, 69 cents each. Now there is a lot of great coffee here at Trader Joe's and let me know in the comments below if you do have a favorite. There is like the Joe's coffee, lots of great varieties in my opinion. You also have the K-Cups. I think their coffee is a really good price. Or if you even want the cold brew coffee, now those are concentrated. And now this one is not concentrated for $5.49 and you even have the coconut concentrated cold brew. I love the variety. 
How exciting is it that Trader Joe's carries the San Marzano peeled tomatoes? $3.99 a can, that is such a good price, and they make the best tomato sauce. The French vinaigrette with shallots. Oh, this is a dressing I haven't seen before. That sounds really good. You definitely want to shake this up. Now, unfortunately, there is no price. If you know the price, let us know in the comments below. The Peony Blossom Candle has returned. We still have the grapefruit. Those are only $3.99. But if you haven't tried the Vanilla Lip Mask, definitely try it out for $5.99. It's worth it. Now, if you're planning on making breakfast this weekend, especially like waffles or pancakes, Trader Joe's always has such a great selection, even gluten-free. I've even tried the protein ones. Those were actually pretty good. The Celebration Cake and Baking Mix. I haven't seen these for a couple of weeks, so they're back for $5. The Banana Bread Mix for only $3. And of course, the Meyer Lemon Cake for $3.50. So if you're planning on doing any baking this weekend, definitely check these out. The brownies, yeah, $3.50. So good. They even have gluten-free. I always like the options here. Ooh, the chocolate chip cookies. The almond flour, those are gluten-free. Only $5. Okay, we have a new dessert. This is the Japanese souffle cheesecake. I'm so excited that they have them here. There's two in the package. So we're gonna take those home and try them out. I'm looking for the price. Okay, I'm so sorry, I couldn't find the price. We have the lemon bars. That was the only box. Now those are $4.99. Those are actually really good. I'm gonna pick those up. But if you're looking for some sweet bites, the sweet bites, are really good. Definitely try those out for $5.99. The apple blossoms, that is a favorite. Of course, the Portuguese custard tarts. Any dessert, honestly, here at Trader Joe's, you really can't go wrong. They have such a great variety. And Trader Joe's is my go-to. If I'm having company, friends, or family, and I'm not sure what to serve, I will have a nice variety of desserts. And I think Trader Joe's always has such a great variety and the prices in my opinion are really good even when it comes to the breakfast items i don't want to spend too much time making everything from scratch so this is kind of like my easy go-to is here at trader joe's now one of our latest favorites of course is the dutch griddle cakes those are so good right here three dollars and fifty cents you cannot go wrong with those those are always a favorite but all the different waffles the croissants always a winner here at trader joe's especially for the size of the store how exciting that the marshmallows have returned these are really good i wish trader joe's kept these around all year long 10 ounces they're gluten-free they are vegan as well $2.99, but they taste great. Those are perfect for s'mores. Oh, the Ube tea cookies are back. They sold out, so I'm glad that they're back for $4.50. If you're wanting the organic king coconut water, sold separately for only $1.30. And of course, that seasoned popcorn, $2.30. The pancake bread for $4.50. The vegan banana bread. That is actually good, $5.50. And now the cinnamon coffee cake for $6. This coffee cake is delicious. I love it. I honestly, I heat it up just a little bit. It is so good. If you're wanting the British style crumpets for $3.99, these crumpets are actually really good. I just heat those up a little bit with a little jelly, perfect. If you're wanting bagels, Seriously, the Trader Joe bagels are delicious. The everything bagels, you can't go wrong with any of them. The sour cream donuts. Now, this new cinnamon twist Danish, it's been out for about, what, a month now? That is so delicious. Now, if you like cinnamon bread with or without raisins, you do have those options here at Trader Joe's. And scones, one of the few stores that actually find scones all the time. $4.50. They have gone up in price, but they're still really good. Now, the mousse flowers, those are just so cute and they're tasty too. The garlic bread, this wasn't here last week, so I'm glad it returned. 
Now we found some new beer. Now honestly, I am not a beer drinker, but the Blood Orange sounds really interesting. We have the Peach Ale, we saw that last week. The Mango Cart, that's a new one too, I believe, $10. If you've tried any of these beers, let us know your feedback in the comments below. Even the Yuzu for $11.99. So different price points when it comes to their beer. The June Shine Hard Kombucha, $16.99 for a pack of eight. This sounds interesting. If you have tried this one, let us know in the comments below. And of course, the Rosé. Now, there's a huge variety when it comes to wines here at Trader Joe's. I'm just kind of looking at a couple of bottles, but the price point is actually really good. Now, $7.99. I love this bottle. Every time I pass by, I always look at the bottle. It is so pretty. Here is my little haul. I really am working on my cart presentation. I know sometimes I tend to just throw things in there. Of course, I did grab a couple of extra items while I'm shopping here at Trader Joe's. So let's check out, let's try a couple of items. First, the Honey Pearl Grapes. These sound so good, and I really do like grapes, especially in the warm weather. So I'm gonna soak them. My solution is two parts water, one part vinegar, and bacon soda. I let those soak for about 15 minutes and then I rinse them out really well. And I will let those dry like on a paper towel or a regular towel. I usually just use like a regular towel. And so we're gonna try these out. These sound really good. My husband is really excited to try these out. Okay, I need a bowl. <laughs> so here is my little tasting bowl. We're gonna test these out, and they were actually really good. They weren't as sweet as I was expecting them to be. My husband said it had a little bit of a tart finish. I didn't pick up on that, but my husband loves grapes, so he is my grape expert, as I call him. So if you do like grapes, definitely try those out. We're not sure exactly how long they'll be here at Trader Joe's, as we know a lot of items do kind of come and go. Now I can't wait to try this one, the Japanese souffle cheesecakes. It's two per package. Now they do come frozen, so I did defrost them in the fridge overnight. We have our strawberries, our whipped cream. Now my whipped cream does not come from Trader Joe's. That does come from Costco. Now we're gonna try it without any whipped cream, without any fruit, just by itself. My husband's with me, so he's excited to try this out. It's not like traditional cheesecake that you would find here in America. It's actually really light, very airy, not sweet at all. So I am going to add a little whipped cream and some strawberries to it because I do prefer mine just a little sweeter. And I had my strawberries already cut up. So we're going to try this again with the strawberries and whipped cream. This is actually a really nice light dessert, especially if you're wanting something that is not overly sweet. You have a lot of great options to add to the top of it as well. So let me know in the comments below what you have tried. If you have tried the Japanese souffle cheesecake, what you have added to it. Love to hear your feedback in the comments below what you thought of it. Well, everyone, thank you so much for coming along to Trader Joe's with me today. Thank you again for your time and for watching. Take care, have a great weekend, and I will talk to you later.